Good afternoon, friends, family, faculty, members of the school board, and of course, the Norristown Area High School class of 2013. In September of 2009, we first stepped foot in this building as young, intimidated, and naive freshmen. We had no idea what to expect other than a drastic change in lifestyle and responsibility. In fact, if you were to tell me on that September day that in four years I would be standing here before you giving the salutatory speech in front of roughly 2,000 people, I would have called you insane. So, I believe it's safe to say that we've come a long way since that cool September morning. This very school has developed that torrent of unrefined freshmen into a myriad of outstanding young men and women. We have made great advances in the classroom, on the playing field, and in society. With record-setting PSSA scores, we have distinguished ourselves within the history of Norristown Area High School. Together as a school, we have won league championships, claimed district titles, reached the state finals, and competed among the highest level across this nation. Within this very room today, there are multitudes of servants committed to the improvement of our community and the world we live in. Soup kitchen volunteers, youth sports coaches, and mission trip workers, just to name a few. As a result of these wonderful achievements, we are indeed heavily indebted to this school, the very institution that has made all of this possible. In order to repay this debt, we cannot wait around and be defeated by idleness. The tools we've acquired are valuable, and they must be put to use regardless of the setting. This is a diverse class, with many seeking some form of higher education, some entering the workplace, and some joining the military. No matter what the circumstances may be, we must, as we go our separate ways towards these colleges, jobs, and services, it is imperative that we be proud of who we are and what we have accomplished. It is even more important, however, that we are not content with these said accomplishments. For although the strides we've made may be great, they are only the first few steps within the marathon of life. With all the knowledge and experience that we have encompassed over these last four years, we are bound to achieve great things. We are not, however, simply entitled to these great lives we seek. We must earn them. One thing I've learned as I progress from freshman year until today is that anything worthwhile in life requires a good deal of sacrifice. As many of my friends know, and for all those who don't know me, I love to have a good time. But from the month of November through the middle of March, you will hardly find me anywhere besides the confines of this school and the LA Fitness on Germantown Pike. Those four and a half months every year are what we call the blessing of wrestling season. I sacrifice my social life, as well as a meal or two here and there, in order to try to be the best I can be. When I placed eighth at the PAA state championships in ninth grade, I was beyond excited with what I had accomplished. To place it all in the much revered state of Pennsylvania is a noteworthy achievement, let alone to place as a freshman. During the few weeks after states, I really had some time to reflect on what I wanted. Eighth place was great, but I wanted more. So I put in the work in the off season, spending my summers seeking the best competition the nation had to offer in places like Iowa, Minnesota, Indiana, New Orleans, and of course, the lovely Fargo, North Dakota. Not the most ideal childhood vacations, but it's what I had to do and what I wanted to do in order to be the best I could be. Call me crazy, but I stand here today with no regrets. We have all made numerous sacrifices. The fact that you're here today is proof of that whether it's staying after school to make up the lab you missed during your baseball game, or coming in at six in the morning just to get some extra help. My fellow calculus students know what I'm talking about here. Even the small things count as sacrifice, like opting out of watching your favorite TV show in order to finish your research paper. Thank God for on demand. But regardless of what you give up, or if you even realize that it is sacrifice, it all adds up in the long run. Going towards the future, we will be faced with numerous obstacles in life, many of which will seem impossible to overcome. One thing that I ask of you is not to be disheartened by these obstacles. When a vine approaches a wall, it does not simply get discouraged and stop growing. It defies gravity and travels up the wall. The ivy growing in our very own courtyard is visible proof of this. So going forward, try to keep an open mind. 
your determination and sacrifice will turn these walls into meager speed bumps along the road of life. Going back to that first day of high school, if you would have told this unenlightened freshman that after the conclusion of his senior year, he would be heading off to one of the most prestigious universities in the nation, he would have again told you you were crazy. But here I stand today as your salutatorian, humbled to be a part of the Norristown Area High School class of 2013. Thank you.